Okay, so this is a very good question, you know, that um, this sister is saying that, uh, you know, the world we define as everything other than God. And then she says that also the world is that which we can touch and we can taste and we can smell and we can see and that we can hear. She, so she said, my question is about the spirit, about the ruh, and is it also part of the world? And, um, you know, this is a very good question. Um, the ruh is also created. Uh, the spiritual dimension of reality is a, a dimension of reality that, as a rule, we do not perceive by the senses. So when we talk about the world, we do not define the world as the physical world only. The physical world, which is that world that we can see, we can hear, we can touch, we can taste, we can smell, it is the world that we all share in common. And it is the world that is that alam that we can talk about with everyone to use as a key to the belief in God. But in the world there are many things that are unseen. There are many things that are beyond access, you know, of our physical senses. And among the greatest of these is the ruh, the spirit. And the angels are the most common of all things that were created. The angels fill the heavens and they fill the earth. And the angels can take forms. They can take beautiful forms. But as a rule, they're not that way. So angels are not part of the world that we directly perceive by senses. The spirits also, the jinn, they do truly exist. All human beings believe they exist. All human beings have experience about their existence, you know, and they can also take shapes so that they can be perceived by the eyes or the ears, but as a rule they're not that way. But all of these things that are created change. All of them move. All of them um, have the characteristics, therefore, of temporality. They are not uncreated. They are created. When we speak about the life of God, which is one of the substantial attributes of God. Al-Haya, one of the things that we say about it is that God's life is not ruhiya. God does not live by virtue of a spirit, but you live by virtue of a spirit. And as the sister points out here, you know, that the body exists because of the fact that it has in it the spirit. And the body without the spirit does not live and the spirit in this world, when it leaves the body, it also leaves this world. But all of that is part of the alam. All of that is part of the created world. 